Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. Me, 25 male, and girlfriend, 25 female. Been together for four years. Had a house for two years and a dog. Saw messages from multiple guys, but I stormed out before I saw any 100% concrete evidence, as she managed to delete everything. Using Snapchat data, I found proof she slept with at least one. She eventually admitted after lying at every possible chance. Two or three other guys, I'm about 90% sure she was sleeping with them. And there could be more. Under the two or three, possibly. And that's just from her phone. God knows if she shagged any random strangers on a night out. I'm with her right now because her grandmother died just as I was going to break out. So left it a week. She also thinks I only know about the one guy and that I've managed to get over it. She started planning holidays, weekends, meetups with friends, activities we could do together. Honestly, the relationship has never been so good. That the severity of the cheating and the remorseless lies means I can never be with her. I'm going to break up with her tomorrow, I've decided. When she's at work, I'll pack all my stuff into a truck. And when she comes back, I'll say it to her face. I'm not going to just disappear. I've changed all my addresses to my parents' house already, and I've worked out exactly what I'll be over the house and the things I bought. Or I'll take them with me. How should I handle it tomorrow? I want to know the truth. How long? How many people? Why? And did you ever consider how I feel? All that kind of stuff. But do I actually? Will it hurt me more? I thought about telling her to own up to her mistakes and be accountable. Stop lying and tell me what you did. Have some decency and stop being so unbelievably selfish. I'm leaving anyway. There is no more damage control. I was also thinking, if I said you tell me the truth and I'll make the breakup easier, we can still speak. I can look after the dog if you're working. I can contribute for his food every month. I'll even keep paying bills for a couple months if that helps the new burden of running a house solo. I won't tell your parents, our friends, your friends, you cheated. I'll say we just broke up. Or is this a stupid idea? She never told me the truth the whole time. Why would she start now? Should I just say goodbye? And is there anything else I can do to prepare? To help set myself up for afterwards? For even anything to do? While she is blissfully unaware of my decision? To get a small win back for myself? Our first response comes from Vivid Garage. You'll never get the truth. Don't bother making a plan A or a plan B. Like Paul Simon said, there must be 50 ways to leave your lover. Get the hell out of there and go no contact. Sell the house, get what is yours, move on. Don't torture yourself about the details. You know all you really need to know. Know your value, know your worth. She clearly doesn't. Next comment from, you ever think why? Never hide a cheater's secrets. She will have no problem spreading lies about you dragging your name in the mud. She is a serial cheater. Gather the proof up and tell everyone. As far as the house, have it done in writing. She should either buy you out or you should sell it. I repeat, never hide a cheater's secrets. Next comment from Coca-Cola Kid. You know she's a cheater. You know she's a serial cheater. You know she is lying as she deleted everything so you could not read it. You know you will never be able to trust her. What you need to do. Get an STD test done now. Go full no contact with her. Keep busy by hanging out with friends, doing hobbies, doing new things. You will look back one day and think this was the best decision you have made to cut off a toxic person. You deserve better than a cheater. Update. Thank you everyone for the comments. It's helped me realize that I'll never learn the truth, but that is probably a good thing. Also, that I should go no contact, as that makes it much easier to move on. Sorry I haven't replied or anything. I've been busy at work, then emptying the truck of my tools, then filling it with my belongings. I'm currently sitting waiting for her to come home. She should be in the next 20 minutes. I will tell her I'm leaving, because she lied and cheated on me. And I'll say how much I'm due for everything, and let her know how to pay. I've kept a backdoor key, as I'm asking for money for washing machine, etc. Things I bought. If she's not prepared to pay, I will take them away. She paid for the dog, and I thought we wouldn't manage to look after one before we got him. So, he's 100% hers. But that doesn't mean I don't love him. I've taught him all the tricks he knows. Climbed mountains with him and took him to work almost every day. I'm most upset about saying goodbye to him, but I know I have to. As much of a terrible person she is, he will always be looked after well. On to the next story. Wife cheated on me 13 years ago and just decided to tell me. So, we've been together like 15 years, married for 11. We have two kids who are 8 and 13. Our relationship was good up until about 3 years ago, and we've been in a back and forth argument since about 3 years ago. The fights 3 years ago started because she was uncomfortable with me having female friends, however these female friends were mutual friends we always hung out with. I wasn't like spending time alone with other women, it was always in a group setting. She felt like I was 
putting her second. I felt like she was overreacting. Any rational person would feel like she was overreacting, including her therapist. This went on for three years, and any time I had any contact with any of our friends' wives, she'd give me a bunch of crap for it. She'd tell me I wasn't respecting her boundaries. This contact with these women could be as simple as conversing with them in our big group texts, which my wife is a part of, or liking a Facebook post for something. I'd had enough of this crap like a week ago, and after a fight over me being Facebook friends with a female coworker, I kinda lost it on her. I told her that she was being irrational, and that any rational person would agree with me. I told her that she has some serious issues, and that she needs to get them worked out. For the next few days, she was having panic attacks, and was just really off. She told me that she needed to tell me something and proceeded to tell me that about six months after we got together, after we had a fight, she slept with an ex-boyfriend. I told her I needed some time, that that I could probably get past it. The next day, she was still having panic attacks. She said that she hadn't been completely transparent. She then proceeded to tell me that the ex-boyfriend's story was completely fabricated. She then told me that 13 years ago, months after our son was born, that she went on her lunch break to work to a co-worker's house and had sex with him. She said that she did this, because she liked the attention he gave her. We were in a good place in her relationship at the time, and I was giving her plenty of attention. She said that she immediately felt guilty about it and never told me because she didn't want to hurt me. I not only hurt because she cheated, but also because she kept it a secret for 13 years. I love her and she loves me, but I just don't know that I can get over it. I guess I'm just looking for advice from an outside perspective. What do y'all think? Ron D. Ron tells us what he thinks. My bet is that this trickle tooth goes much deeper. The chances are high that she slept with this coworker a lot more than just once and probably did and said many things with him that she hasn't revealed yet. There's no chance of a reconciliation if she isn't completely transparent and truly remorseful, not just escaping to panic attacks. It's a pretty big red flag that she made up this story about an ex-boyfriend. Like, think about the thought process that would lead her to think that. Next comment from October Start. I'm more concerned with why she's having these panic attacks now. It didn't seem to bother her for 13 years. Why is it setting off panic attacks now? Did something else come up? Lord Kano says, Did something else come up? Probably yet another man's penis. Panic attacks and extreme paranoia about mutual female friends don't come from nowhere. She did something else recently. It is feeling guilty about it. Mike H. 1971 says, Sorry, brother, but I'd still DNA that 13-year-old. You can't trust a dang thing from her right now. Next off from Rubicon Man 1970. Wow. As you can already figure out, her insecurities with you, with female friends, is coming from her cheating and her knowing that she cheated on you. She kept this from you for many, many years. I would tell you I've been cheated on, my ex with three different men, and she's finally gone. I know you say you have children and have tried to work on your relationship. Good luck to you, because it's going to be hell. The only way that you're going to have peace is to move on. Sorry, but it's the truth. Next off from El Wapo, 2011. I'd say that you're just at the tip of the iceberg with the trickle truth. It's highly unlikely that this was just a short one-time thing. Not only did she cheat on you, probably multiple times, but she looked you in the eyes every day for over a decade and lied. You'll never look at her the same. Or possibly be able to trust her. At the end of the day, you'll have to decide if staying with a liar and a cheater is worth the mental hell that you will go through in your future with her. I couldn't and I wouldn't. On the next story. I cheated back on my husband, and I feel great. Three years ago, my husband cheated by meeting up with strangers on Reddit. It happened twice before I caught him. I had just had major surgery and relied heavily on him during my recovery. It was agony, both physically and mentally. A couple weeks later, found out I was pregnant with a child. We had tried three years to conceive. It all felt like a cruel joke. I decided to stay, mainly for a kiddo's sake, but I also still loved him. We went to counseling. Things moderately improved. He is an amazing dad. A month ago, my worst fear came true. He was messaging people again, this time on a popular gay hookup app. I happened to catch him red-handed, but he denied it. It took me three days of prodding before he finally admitted to it. I was furious, hurt, blindsided. All the old feelings came flooding back. As time passes, I just become more disconnected. I have no want to try in our marriage anymore. Even now, I don't know if I'll actually ask for a divorce. Any sane person would. Yet, all I want to do is cheat on him. Even the score. Make him feel like I did. Paranoid, anxious, self-conscious, low, and defeated. I don't care if he ever finds out. I don't want to rub it in his face. I do want to have that rush of feeling wanted by someone else. I want to feel pursued and important. Update. 
My husband and I have been together for 11 years, married seven. We have a two-year-old together. Almost three years ago, I found out my husband had cheated twice with strangers from Reddit. Two weeks later, I found out I was pregnant. We had tried for years to get pregnant with no luck. I was both happy and devastated. We decided to try to work it out and went to counseling. Things got better and he's an amazing dad. Unfortunately, about a month ago or so, I caught him red-handed messaging people on a popular gay hookup app. He tried to deny it, but finally came clean after four days of me pushing. He swears he's not gay or bi, but it was just easy attention. Anyway, I'm certain to feel like divorce is the only answer, but I'm crippled by anxiety. I know my life and that of my kids will change drastically. I'm terrified. I would really like to hear from others that have made it through. Thank you. Update. Even though the majority of you told me not to do it, I did. I'm not remorseful or guilty. I finally feel happy. It honestly changed something in me. A lot of the anger I had towards my husband dissipated. I finally feel ready to move forward in the relationship. I'm not as repulsed by him as I once was. <laughs> Will I tell him? Probably not. Is that crappy? Yeah. Should we just get divorced? Maybe. But neither of us are ready for that. I know this probably isn't the update you wanted, but here it is.